Item number SCP-106-J Object Class Keter Kukwam Special Containment Procedures All staff are to remain at least 60 meters away from the containment cell at all times, except during long weekend events. SCP-106-J is to be contained in a refinished basement den, composed of nickel alloy. Nickel alloy has proven to last longer against SCP-106-J's grill effect than other metals. One armchair is to be placed in the center of the containment cell. Container is to remain supplied with no less than a 160cm flat-screen television, with the deluxe sports fan package from the site's local cable provider. A secondary containment area is to be fitted with sound systems, capable of flooding the entire assembly with no less than the greatest hits of rock bands from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Both containment areas are to remain under 24-hour surveillance. If sweet, smoky scents of roasting meat are detected in any area more than 200 meters from SCP-106-J's containment chamber, site security are to be notified immediately. Any ingredients lost to SCP-106-J are to be considered delicious. Deemed expendable losses and critical incidents of uncontained SCPs. Note, in the presence of multiple rock cuts of beef, pork, or poultry, SCP-106-J can become distracted, deliberately appraising the appearance and quality of these items. Personnel are reminded to safely dispose of all meat exposed to SCP-106-J in this manner. SCP-106-J is an elderly humanoid with the appearance of being basted in a thick marinade. This appearance may vary but the saucy quality is observed in all forms. SCP-106-J enjoys reclining in its armchair, and will remain motionless for days at a time waiting for visitors. SCP-106-J appears to prefer visitors in the range of 10 to 25 years of age. SCP-106-J causes a char-grilling effect in all solid matter it touches, observed as a smoking, seared gridiron pattern as well as the creation of a brown, viscous substance similar to the material covering SCP-106-J. Analysis reveals this to be mainly composed of vinegar and tomato paste, as well as various spices, seasonings, and sweeteners. This effect remains for four hours before seeming to go cold and stale. SCP-106-J is capable of vanishing into stoves or ovens, entering what seems to be a kind of cookout dimension. This is a space where SCP-106-J is assumed to have complete control over the environment, as well as others' ability to enter or exit at any time. Limited observation of this space has shown it to be comprised mainly of freshly mowed lawns in a recently constructed suburban residential neighborhood with Notes on Behavior During hosting events, SCP-106-J will attempt to satiate visitors by serving hamburgers, hot dogs, or chicken sandwiches after pulling invited guests into its cookout dimension. This activity can continue for days, with some subjected individuals being given meals in between games of catch, receiving life advice, a cold one. SCP-106-J seems to undergo long periods of dormancy, in which it remains motionless in its armchair, watching television. These events can last for an entire postseason playoffs, before SCP-106-J arises in a groggy, agitated state. Camera feeds have shown that SCP-106-J will make its way to the site cafeteria or kitchen, or nearest such facilities and attempt to raid refrigerators and pantries before escaping into its cookout dimension. SCP-106-J appears to host and serve based on desire, not hunger. SCP-106-J will collect multiple visitors during a hosting event, keeping many fed in the cookout dimension for extended periods of time. SCP-106-J has no determinable limit to the number of patio chairs and paper plates it can provide. Recall Protocol 106 J Should SCP 106 J breach containment, a D Class personnel of suitable age will be brought to the container and prepared for use in the Recall Protocol. When ready, the lure subject will be hungry, 
preferably due to having not eaten for several hours, or otherwise spoiled their appetite. The lure subject would then be placed in the cell, and the sound emitted by the rumbly tummy projected over the site's public address system. Should SCP-106-J not respond to the recall protocol in a timely manner, the lure subject may be exposed to additional appetite-stimulating measures. All personnel present are encouraged to describe in vivid detail the most indulgent meals they have recently consumed. Cinnamon bun scented candles and other olfactory stimulants are available in desperate circumstances. SCP-106-J will typically release its lure subject after around 5-8 hours. In addition, subjects may return with leftovers gifted by SCP-106-J, but these will 